My name is Luke Lagnis, and this is the 2010 Haitian earthquake. On January 12, 2010, a devastating earthquake struck the small nation of Haiti. With a 7.0 magnitude, the earthquake occurred primarily on a strike-slip fault, where each plate moves horizontally from one another. The Caribbean is its own separate tectonic plate, and the North and South American plates both move westward relative to this plate. It is believed that it was caused by a rupture of the Enriquillo Plantain Garden Fault, which had been locked for 250 years, building stress until this eventual earthquake. There was an estimated 250,000 deaths, 300,000 injured, and 5 million people displaced from this earthquake. It created damage worth as much as $3.9 billion and shrank their GDP by 5.1%. Their economy, which was heavily agricultural, was devastated, increasing unemployment and harming their exports. As food prices grew and unemployment persisted, the crime rate in Haiti increased as well. Even before 2010, Haiti was the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere, which meant the Haitian government was not prepared nor capable of handling this natural disaster. This prompted a massive humanitarian response with Canada and the United States each pledging $100 million of aid and the UN pledging $13.34 billion through 2020. A seven-year-old boy from London rode his bike around his park to raise money and eventually raised more than $300,000 from internet donations. There was not an extreme amount of damage caused to the Haitian ecosystem as most of the environmental impact was from the debris and the rubble. There were, not many, there were not any major industrial spills, and there were not any new phenomenon occurring. However, the already existing ecological problems were worsened by this disaster. The poor nation had issues with waste management, with trash-filled beaches, smelly waterways, and tons of floating debris in their water. This was made worse by 40 per to 50 percent of buildings in Port Al Ar Prince falling, instantly skyrocketing the amount of debris needed to clean up. There were also fires and landslides, as well as additional flooding, which was already an issue. Because Haiti was so poor and its government so underdeveloped, not much has changed in public policy due to this earthquake. However, this earthquake led to research, which helped to reveal how a shift to modernity and away from traditional building practices can actually lead to greater building destruction, because as people built houses with higher quality materials, their poor building technique left their houses more vulnerable to earthquakes. This earthquake devastated the nation of Haiti, especially given its already impoverished conditions. Even 11 years later, and after numerous humanitarian efforts and support, Haiti is still dealing with the effects of this tragedy.